what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a really, really fun video on five different things that you can do with Orbeez. They're such a fun little like, I don't know, just like, okay, they're fun for kids and they're fun for adults. So um, no shame for my adult kids out there that wanna go out and play with some Orbeez. So some of these are geared more towards kids, but like seriously, no judgment will be made if you go and do these things for yourself and you're like, adult age. So if you're new here and this is your first video that you're seeing of mine, hello and welcome. I would love for you to click that subscribe button and join the family. We have tons of fun here, tons of really awesome, fun videos that you don't want to miss. So make sure you subscribe. And that's all I wanted to say here in the beginning. If you guys want to see five things that you can do with Orbeez, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be making is some Orbeez soap. You guys will have to excuse my hoarse voice. I've been really, really sick, but like, I seriously cannot wait any longer on making videos for you guys. I'm driving myself crazy. So, sorry about the hoarse voice. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some pre-soaked Orbeez, a little bowl to mix this all up in, some soap scent, and some glitter. So the first thing you're going to do is just take out your block of soap. This particular one is a block of shea soap, shea butter soap. And um, you're just going to chop off a little bit of this. It really doesn't matter how much. It just matters how much you're going to be making. So um, just however much you want to make, just chop it off. And then cut it into the little cubes and put it into a microwave safe bowl. Then you're going to microwave it for 30 second increments until it's completely melted down like so. So I have to be honest, I've literally never measured glitter before, but it was so satisfying. I did a tablespoon of glitter for my soap. This is totally optional. It doesn't get stuck on your hands like you might think. I mean, maybe a few little specks here and there, but you can totally do this with or without the glitter. I just wanted to add some silver glitter to mine for that little extra wow factor. So I just stirred that in until it was completely mixed through. Then I just added like a random amount of Orbeez. I did not measure this at all. I just wanted to make sure that there was more soap than Orbeez. So keep that in mind because otherwise the soap won't set up right if you put too many. So the next thing I'm doing is just adding a cap full of the soap scent. You could add just a few drops. It just depends on however um, much you want your soap scented. Like if you want it really scented or just kind of lightly scented. So once your soap and Orbeez mixture is good to go, you can go ahead and start spooning it into your little silicone cupcake molds. I would totally recommend putting this in a cupcake tin though, like a one that you would like actually stick in the oven. It was really hard to transfer these individually to the fridge to set up when they were all like wet like that. So it would make your life a lot easier if you put it in the tin. And this is the final result. You'll just pull off the little silicone outside and you have your little soap that kind of looks like the bottom of a cupcake. So that's really cute. And then you can totally just wash your hands like normal with this. It's a really, really cool feeling once you get down to the Orbeez. It's kind of like a therapeutic like jelly feeling, like kind of a massage on your hand almost. It's really, really cool. So like I said, it works just like perfectly like normal soap. You'll want to store this with the um, top side down so that the Orbeez don't dehydrate though because they will fall out of the soap if they dehydrate. So just store it upside down and you'll have your cute little Orbeez soap. So the next thing we are making is some Orbeez slime. I'm sure you've seen this before, but I had to make it for myself because I had never made it before and I wanted to play with some Orbeez slime. <laughs> so all you'll need is just the normal slime ingredients. I have like a really in-depth video on my channel on how to make this, but I'm gonna show it again. So you'll just need a half a cup of water in the big bowl and a third cup in the small bowl. You'll wanna make sure the water is slightly warm so that the borax mix down. You'll just need a full tablespoon of that. Once your borax mixture is completely dissolved, you can then add the glue to the other bowl. So I'm just going to be pouring this in here. You can use glitter glue, the clear glue, opaque glue, whatever you want to use. So a little life hack for those of you who are impatient with the glue getting out of the container. Add a little bit of your water, shake it up, and the rest of the glue will pour right out and you don't have to sit there and wait for it to slowly fall out. Then you're gonna mix that up. Okay, so here's where I made the mistake. I'd never made this before and I actually had never watched a video on how to make this, so I was kinda just guessing here. 
So I whisk this together and then I mix the two. You'll want to add your Orbeez before you mix it because it starts to congeal immediately and you'll want your Orbeez to already be in there because it's really, really hard to fold them in afterwards. So I would recommend mixing your Orbeez into the water and glue mixture first. So that's where I made my mistake. Other than that, it worked perfectly. But if this had already been mixed together, it would have been so much more smooth. So for this, I used a cup of Orbeez and once again, like the glitter, I've never measured Orbeez before but that was fun so I just took that there and as you'll see I'm doing like a little time lapse here because it took forever to mix these in since I didn't have it in the mixture separately so like I said seriously make sure you don't make this mistake because it was kind of annoying so right here I'm just kind of you know trying to mix it all together it came together eventually but it was just a lot harder So now that it's finally mixed together, here is the final product. It was so much fun to play with you guys. I seriously love slime. I swear I'm such a kid. But um, I had my daughter play with this too and she thought it was the coolest ever. So if you have kids, I'm sure they would love this as well. So my final idea is definitely more for kids. Basically what I did was I just soaked a whole big bowl of Orbeez and I put this in Lacey's little water table. She's been loving playing outside on our patio on this little um, water table she got for her birthday. It's finding Dory and she's so obsessed with Dory right now. It's so cute. But she loves scooping them out and like trying to like get in there and pick them up with her hands and like squishing them. She just thought they were so cool. So if you guys have never played with Orbeez with your kids or if you have played with them and they like them this would be another idea you could also put them in like a little kiddie pool if you had a kiddie pool or bath time that would be a lot of fun to just kind of put some of the Orbeez in the bath so that was kind of my ideas for Orbeez you can see here we're just playing with these outside but all of these ideas turned out so fun and we loved playing with them because like I said she just brings out the inner kid in me I love it so anyway that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and thank you for putting up with my crazy voice in this voiceover you guys are the real MVPs don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video Bye.